Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can create post request using this simple serializer. Okay. And we will also see that how we can create post request using model serializer too. But for now, let us understand this thing, right? And um, I have did one mistake, like before starting recording, I have made some changes to this uh, author page. I thought actually I have started recording but I haven't I realized later so I'm just you know doing I'm just saying that what I have done so here I have changed this author foreign key to character field right so before it was foreign key now I have changed it to for, uh, character field because it was giving you know more not giving actually it was making more complicated project and I want this project to be a uh, beginner friendly. Okay. At least in beginners videos, I want this project to be beginners friendly later when we will move to advanced concepts. Um, I will change back to foreign key. Okay. But for now it would be character field only. Right. So I have did this changes. Okay. And I have just, you know, the, uh, did migration and make migration command and all changes has been made to database right so make these changes perform those two commands and then come back right and i'm just closing this models.py now now here before starting this uh, post request we will go first go to you know a serializers.py and here we will create a function which will be named as create only so here if i say dev and i will say create because this function is going to trigger whenever we are going to you know do post request right and this will basically um, uh, create object in your database so here i will say self and i will say validated data underscore data okay sorry it would be underscore over here okay now here i will just return blog we need to import blog here so i'll say blog okay and uh, here i will say dot objects dot create and here i will do two stars and say validated data okay so this is it which we need to make changes now i will just close this serializers.py and models.py2 now if you remember when i explained url concepts i mentioned that whenever we create post request we always you know need to create it from the detail sorry from all the list um link like the link which don't have any primary key okay which don't contain any primary key and just for your refreshment i will add that screenshot anywhere on this screen and also i will add that uh, video url video to i button you can go there and watch it okay and uh, here we are you know here we are having you know primary key because this is detail block detail function so we are not going to make post request from here but here we are having all blogs so we can make post request from here right so i'll do comma and i'll say post all right once this is done now come back to this function inside this function and here i will say if method dot sorry request dot method request dot method is double equals to get then perform this and uh, if request dot method is double equals to post okay then we will say serializer i will just copy this line okay serializer and here we don't need these two things and here i'll say data equals to request dot data i need to respell it 
I Q E S T request. Okay, request equals to request dot data, and then here I will say if serializer dot mm, is valid. Okay, if serializer is valid, I mean all data in the serializer is valid, then just go ahead and save it. So I will say serializer dot save. Okay, and finally return. Return response which says serializers dot data. I hope you got idea. So here I will explain again what I am doing is. So this function is basically going to handle two type of request. First is get request and second is post request. So here I am just differentiating these both requests. So when a user you know makes get request, then it should show all these blocks and when a user is requesting post request with some data then it will trigger this function and create an object in our database okay so we have done this both code and now i think it should work but before that let us write else condition too so here i will say else if this is this all data is not valid I mean not valid data then it should throw an error okay so I'll say return response and here I'll say serializer dot errors okay so this will return error if data in the serializer is not valid okay now I think we are ready to fire the request so I'll go to rapid API right and here I will click on all blocks and here from drop down i will create post and i will go to body json and here i will write that uh, fields okay so let me see what field i have i will go to models.py and here i will write name equals to so here name not name equals to so here name will be our block title so i will say facebook comma this also should be in quotes okay then we have author author let me copy and paste to save the time and here i will say yosh I will say description and it will be nice social media post date will be hidden I mean it will automatically take that post I mean date and time so we don't need to write this field okay because we have date time field and we have set that to auto now add equals to true so the moment when we will click on this send button it will automatically fetch date and that particular time okay so now is public and this will be boolean field so i will say true okay then we have slug I guess slug is blank so I need to I don't need to add that just write this much fields and uh, close this models.py now if I click on send connection refused so let me see okay I have not started the server so let me start the server and if I click on send then it says post underscore date required why let me open models.py again okay let me add you anyway so i'll just add that date no issues 
I will say 2000 okay sorry 2022 iPhone 12 iPhone 12 and uh, slug so slug it will be Facebook and this time okay now if I send this okay so you can see we got 200 okay so we have successfully you know created this um, um, post I mean we have made this post request and I don't have any idea why this has not you know added author name okay let me go to admin panel over here okay I need to create super user so I'll say admin 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 I guess you know we need to remove this uh, author this author uh, Field because it is creating many issues so I don't want to do all those messes again I mean I can solve this issue but uh, for now let us keep beginner friendly videos so everyone can understand so I'll just do one more thing I will just say make migrations and I will say migrate okay now if I send get request okay so I need to run server again I will send get request and boom we got our first response and also we have seen how we can make post request right so I guess this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and I hope you got idea about this post request and in next video we are going to see put and delete so put means update so we are going to see that how we can update our current response and also delete that uh, response okay so i will see you in next one thank you